Hey, it's Rob Jackson and Steve Albright from Fandroid.com. We're in a bus at CES. <laughs> so you can see we've got this bus set up here um, on the show floor. And we're looking at an Android-based navigation system uh, that goes inside buses called bus pads. So Steve's here in the simulated um, bus and <laughs> going to show us the in-dash display and walk us through it a little bit. Okay, what's, what, what's really interesting is this, uh, um, if some of you might be familiar with uh, the in-dash in like Virgin Airlines. This is a setup for a bus. It's more made for ground transportation. Uh, this is running Android 2.0. Three and uh, in the future they're looking to go with uh, 4.0, but right now uh, it, it runs Android 2.3 with a custom interface. Uh, it's kind of locked down because they don't really want the, the customer on the bus really doing too much. It does have a camera which is uh, right now working with MSN, uh, so you can open up MSN and actually log into your messenger chat. Um, got information about the services. Now we don't have any Wi-Fi here, so it's not going to load too quickly or any at all. But uh, it, it's a way to pro provide information uh, about any kind of trip or any anything related to the bus that you're particularly on. Uh, it does have games, internet, uh, entertainment. One cool thing would be live TV. <clears throat> The way it works is they have uh, one administration hub in the bus that branches out. Each device will be connected by power and like a TV cable, and that would be probably most likely just a satellite on the, the roof of the, uh, the bus itself. So go, go into games real quick, because games is where you'll notice. Oh yeah, this is this makes sense. This is Android. You can see they were uh, actually on my screen. I was here playing uh, Angry Birds. You can and there you go. There's the status notification window that you pull down, but. Here are the apps they've got loaded. Um, on my screen, I was playing Android. I mean, Angry Birds. So. Angry Birds is loading up. And he's got. Now loading. they don't have the market on here. Again, they're trying to keep a locked down device. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice unit built in here. This is a seven-inch version of it. Uh, they also have a 10.1 uh, version. Uh, so you have a USB connection here. If you pop this up, you can also see a micro USB connection. It has an audio jack. Brightness, controls, uh, the back button, a main power to the LC LED itself, and then volume controls. Let's go here and see how the touchscreen works. But it is adjustable. Uh, in the future, they're looking to expand to 4.0 and maybe supporting uh, 3D formats, like 3D HD playback. That would be cool to see in the future. I mean, how cool would that be? You're on a Greyhound bus, or any bus, really, <laughs> and you're watching 3D TV. And I mean, I don't, it makes the trip go by so much quicker. I know from airplane rides I've had, when you've got stuff to do in Dash, and why not have Android in Dash? I mean, it makes sense. You've already got all the content, all the games. You can preload the stuff, and you can custom make stuff for... Uh, and as you can see, I rule at Angry Birds. <laughs> but so th this is called BusPad, um, and this is one of the products they have available. They've also got some other stuff that's Android-based, so do you, should we go in? And, and they don't have it on display. This is kind of right, the main thing they're showcasing, and I'll show you. which I love, actually. That's really cool. So but they've got behind the behind the glass. They've Hopefully got, in the future we can get a hands-on look at this, but uh, as you can see, I'll show you the actual display. Uh, it's a little closer than on the back view through the glass, but you have a custom setup like the bus setup, but it has radio, music, Bluetooth, pad, GPS, video, audio. Hopefully they give you more access to the Android OS itself. Uh, unfortunately we can't play with it hands-on, but you can see how it would work in a car, and uh, you can control pretty much anything and have add-on LED screens that are in your overhead flip down or on the back of the, the, the actual headrest themselves. And this would be called car pad, so yeah, you got you've bus got pad, bus pad you've got car pad. And right here is actually a visor unit. But that's pretty cool as well. And then uh, they have a game controller here displayed, so uh, it looks like they have a memory stick slot on the side. So, uh, so there you have it. That's uh, bus pad and car pad from CES 2012 from our virtual bus. Thanks. Thank you.